the box office tracking for Venom The Last Dance has been updated because tickets went on sale and now they've had some time to analyze just how tickets are selling. And well, you've probably seen it with the headline and the title of this video, but Venom 3 is now tracking to be the lowest opening in the franchise so far. So before we get to the numbers, we got to go back to the first Venom film, which at the time opened up with $80 million. Now, most people, like a few months before that, because there wasn't a whole lot of buzz for it, were predicting a bomb, 30 to 40 million. This, of course, was revised a couple weeks leading up to it, and we saw it was going to go over 70 million. It made 80. Venom Let There Be Carnage had a lot going for it with Carnage being the primary villain of the second one, but also it was sort of like the peak of Marvel films and everybody wants to go watch everything. There's so much going on. So it helped a lot, especially with the Spider-Man multiverse connection that we knew was coming. So when it came to Let There Be Carnage, it made $90 million. So $10 million more than the original just a few years prior. Going into this one, a couple months ago, the word on the street was, hey, it's going to do 90 to 120 million. And then we started here closer to 100 and then somewhere in the 90. Now, officially, they're saying it's going to open up with about 70 million. Now, 70 million for the most expensive film in the series with the highest marketing budget is not that good, all things considered, but also it's better than other films, you know? It's better than Madam Web, clearly better than like the Marvels or Joker Folia Do. So you kind of gotta split the difference here. And um let's say hypothetically it opens up with 70. The following weekend, what, 35, 30? The weekend after that, 12 to 15. We know International loves Venom. They're gonna carry this film regardless of the US. So I think this is still on its way to be a decent film. I'm going to guess more than Venom 2 in its box office run entirely. Probably not as high as Venom 1 unless the film gets tremendous reviews and or Spider-Man is in it. I could see that change in it maybe. But for right now, this I think is a little concerning for Sony. And uh, maybe it's showing the same power of Venom isn't necessarily there. Well, everybody, thank you for watching that video. And as always, you can like, subscribe, share, do whatever you will. Check out the recommended video that's popped up somewhere on the screen. And also, if you would like additional content, including more discussions and more unfiltered content, check out what we offer to the members section, which has new videos going up all the time.